How's it going guys? My name is Top Secret R35 and welcome back to another Series 22 Forza Horizon 4 gameplay video. So don't fear, I'm actually going to get 50%, I promise I'm going to get this Nissan Pulsar. It is a flippin' cool car, it's my type of car, I've got a nice epic challenge video planned. But in the meantime, I just completed the Stardew Rally, which I'm assuming is a play on Stardew Valley. That's, that's really lame. And I mean, this car just screams early 90s. I mean, look at these wheels, look at the body shape. It is so flippin' cool. You know, it's funny because I haven't seen a Peugeot in like four years, ever since I moved to United, the United States. I don't know if there's Peugeots at all here in America, actually, but there's definitely not any in Minnesota. People there don't really care for small cars, I've noticed. Listen how this thing sounds. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, if this is like a replica of another engine sound, but damn, this thing is cool. So before we get into the specs here, you guys may have noticed that I haven't uploaded a video in an entire week. All I actually have done a lot of work on the Rabbit, I actually pulled the engine over the weekend and I found motivation under the rock and yeah, I'm pretty certain I'm gonna make an update video soon. So yeah, grab it baby. So what do we have here? The 1991 Rally Edition of this Peugeot, the 205, a 99 horsepower, 1.3 liter, no forced induction at all. The reason it's so flippin' cool is because it weighs almost nothing. Like a pro bodybuilder could probably flip this car over if he wanted to, and that's where it gets all its great handling from, more than likely. Now obviously Peugeot did make a lot of rally specs of this car. This is obviously the homologation model. So let's just take it completely standard here and try to ruin this little dirt road see what we can do now you see 800 kilograms that is so little if you throw even 80 horsepower at this you can get some power and i think this car had a top speed of like 118 miles per hour or something like that which is a lot for a small ass car you know but this thing is completely stripped out i mean look at the inside like it's completely minimalistic whoa oh speed zone let's do it oh yeah i remember this one i'm going so slow already i don't even have to brake Come on, come on, come on. Let's see if I can break my record. <laughs> oh, but I'd be embarrassed if I break my record in this. That'd be weird. Now, you see, I braked a little bit. I didn't even have to do that. That's how good the handling is of this thing. It is sharp, responsive, nimble. I think they marketed this towards, like, amateur races and stuff like that back in the day. So, yeah, this is going to be a really, really cool rallycross build. And, uh, well, yeah, let's see what we can do with it. So as of late, I've been doing a lot of modest builds and trying to be all realistic and stuff. Well, I don't know. I want 500 horsepower out of this. Or maybe we even go one to one as much as it weighs in kilograms. We're going to put as much power as possible. So I'm not going to be modest anymore. This is going to be a sick car. So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to swap in the 1.8 liter turbo here. This is a well, similar configuration to the engine I want in my Rabbit actually. So yeah, let's do it. So right now it is front wheel drive. We're going to go ahead and make this a rally slash rally cross beast make it four-wheel drive so we have one option for a front bumper and this somehow unlocks downforce tuning i'm not sure how the lights add to the downforce but <laughs> you know i don't know uh i'm gonna go nah rather not and then oh my goodness man i understand that this forza rear wing is like beneficial but uh it's disgusting so yep this thing's gonna be wobbly all over the place rather leave it like that so for rally cross build the car is gonna be off-road quite a bit we're gonna definitely do rally tires and i'm gonna make these probably in the mid-range of width uh let's go 225s in the the front and maybe what we got for the back here 235s 245 yeah 235 is fine and then i really like these wed sports on here and i actually might even leave them this color ah, i've got a bit of an idea let's make them a bit aggressive here with the 15 inch baby <laughs> my golf back home I had 15s on that that was like the hype back in the day oh we got 15s damn this guy ain't playing and then we'll go ahead and make the track width as wide as possible make this thing sit all right so we're rocking 789 kilograms here i don't know if i can actually get 789 horsepower out of this but <laughs> let's just see what happens all right so my initial idea was a bit far-fetched but we're still rocking 512 horsepower in a 790 kilogram car this is going to be in Insane. I'm pretty excited. 114,000 credits. Thank goodness for the 200 wheel spins. Man's going broke here. Now, usually I would go find like a crazy ass paint job and put that on. But with this car, I'm going to be more like a, what the hell? Why am I only painting the hood? Whoops. <laughs> Black gold wheels. Oh yeah, that's going to make a pretty thumbnail. So I've spent a little bit of time tuning trying to soften up the car and make sure that it can turn into corners especially on like a tight track i am having a little bit of an oversteer problem that doesn't seem to rectify itself 
But I guess with the when did I say oversteer? I meant the understeer problem. But considering it's a rally cross tune, it might not be the worst thing in the world. It gets me through the corners, the four-wheel drive really helps. I don't know how competitive we're going to be considering this car is already high in S1. <laughs> but I think we should have a lot of fun regardless with this little beast. I could probably drive the car better in real life than I can on this game, but let's see what happens if I pull a left here onto this dirt road. Try to simulate a rallycross environment here. Alright, off we go. Here we go. Alright, easy. I'm gonna try to pull a right here. Whoa! Alright, on the handbrake. Second. Power, power, power! <laughs> oh yeah, she's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. I'm having a good time here. I'm sure you guys can tell. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy on the bricks. Going into a... There's people over here. I don't want to kill anybody. I only realize now that there's like this dirt path that goes entirely through the festival site. And it is really, really wee. Whoa, big jump. Ah! I couldn't really avoid that, huh? All right, well, let's do a little a little bit of a time trial, a little bit of a race, see how that goes. All right, well, here we go. Four miles of freaky fun. Let's do this. And I already know that this is, like, super impossible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend that we're gonna go for top 100 here. It'll be 2 minutes 38. Yeah, right, but, uh, you know, we're here to try. I honestly don't even know if I can keep it under 3 minutes, but if that's possible, that'll be freaking cool. Holy crap, my car pulls on this guy off the line. I guess the fact that I don't know the track too well is going to make things a bit more difficult as well. Yeah, it looks like Fortune Island over here, but it's not. Whoa! Okay. The most important thing about this run is that I don't want to get like a... I don't want to get any sort of cautions. So no accidents. No accidents at all. Whoa! That's close. Alright, so I guess we had, I did get a little bit of a rallycross experience there. I started on the road, and here I am in the off-road, and I can already tell that I don't know what I was thinking. I had a lapse in character there on why I chose Race Springs for a car that was going to go off-road and do jumps and stuff like that. I don't know, man. It's all about, I'm all about that stance life, I guess. Alright, so Mr. is gone. He's gone! No! Oh... Alright, so I crashed once, but I guess it just makes me better because I could do that first part a bit better now. So here's where I screwed up. I guess it was a bit of a blind rise. All sorts of excuses. I got them lined up, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I just want to make one legit time. And I guess I'm here for a fun time. I'm not here for a fast time. Because this track would need a lot of learning and practice to be able to... Whoa, a nice little drift there. To be able to be competitive. And there we're at the 50% mark. My opponent is gone. Like, he's literally gone. I probably won't see him again. By the time I get to the end of the hill, he's going to have eaten lunch already and all sorts of stuff. And whoa! The score accelerates like a beast. Obviously, you can imagine. There's a lot of boost and a lot, not a lot of weight. Okay, pull, rip the handbrake there. i got to make this look cool at least if I'm going to come last. Like stone lost. Okay, hold up, hold up. This looks good, this looks good. Okay, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. That was cool, I was impressed. Okay, hard on the brakes, hard on the brakes. Watch out for the barriers. Tap a little bit of handbrake, just a little. Alright, the water helps you with the slowdown. Yes, I thought I'm gonna drift into that wall. <laughs> okay, this car is fun. I'm obviously, like, other guys already finished, but this is a lot of fun. I'm just nervous to hit the walls. I don't want to hit the walls. Okay, hold up, hold up. Am I going to make under three minutes? Am I going to make under three minutes? Ah, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> well, just a little too slow, I'd say, yeah? Well, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the Peugeot 205 rally. Flippin' dope car. A bit on the crazy side when you put in 500 horsepower and don't tune it at all and try to do a rivals event. But hey, we finished. 
We didn't get any uh, flags or anything like that. So win-win situation. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, please be sure to leave a like. If you're new to my channel, you like type of Forza Horizon 4 content, so on and so forth. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.